What do you mean they won't communicate? I spent $1,200 on this unit. What? Okay, so I started out with a four inch striker and I went up to a seven inch striker and then I upgraded to an eco map nine inch, which was all great. When I bought the eco map, I thought, man, this will be great. I'll put it back in my console. I'll send waypoints up to the striker. Life will be good. When you're buying a Garmin unit, if they're not of the same family, if they're not both strikers, or if they're not both eco maps, they will not communicate with each other. I found that out. I've been rubbernecking the GS map because it'll record, and I wanted to start getting you guys recorded screenshots, but the GS map will not communicate with the eco map. So I'm probably going to be looking at an ultra series if I want to upgrade my screen size. In a previous video, a few days ago, we talked about different units, strikers, eco maps, but we didn't go into the transducers. I just kind of left it as you need to research the transducers. Well, I got on the website and I started looking and, and I knew it was a little hard to read, but then I noticed some discrepancies in what Garmin had on the GT54, which I know pretty well. So I went ahead and went into the regular website where they have the GT54, found where the discrepancies were and fixed them. And then I found a couple more. So I'd like to go over the transducers a little bit today. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So depending on your sonar unit, transducer type and software revision, some of the settings that you see on your unit may vary from this spreadsheet. All right, so starting out with the Striker 4, you have a dual beam transducer. Price is $69 and it has 500 watts of power, which for a little transducer is a lot. It gives you two frequencies, 77 hertz and 200 hertz, and it has a maximum depth of 1,900 feet. So yeah, it's a powerful little transducer, but that's all it'll do. You don't get the clear view or the side view with it. When you move up to the GT20, it's a $99 transducer and it's 500 watts. Again, it has the, the dual frequencies in the traditional, but you also have clear view with this and you have two different frequencies in clear view. You got 455 and 800 and its maximum depth is 750 foot. And of course on the traditional, it's 1900 foot again. So another powerful little transducer but no side view. When you get to the GT24 UHD, that's where you get to the ultra high definition. It's a $199 transducer, but it drops in wattage to 350 watts. Here's where you start picking up the, your chirp in your traditional, and its maximum depth is 800 foot, and it has clear view at 350 watts, but it only has one frequency, and that's not bad. I only have one frequency on mine, and it's a good clear image, but its maximum depth is 200 feet. Now, the GT52 HWTM, that's the one I've got mounted on my trolling motor for my front unit, and it's, it's not a bad transducer, but it's only 250 watt. It does have the chirp, max depth 800, and you bump up to 350 watt, for the clear view and the side view. And you get two frequencies with both those. You get 455 and 800. The clear view, you have a maximum depth of 500. And the side view, you have a maximum depth of 500 as well. One thing about the GT52, it's not ultra high definition. So the picture isn't quite as good on that. The GT54 UHD is $349, 350 watts, it has chirp, max depth in traditional is 800 foot, again 350 watts in both the clear view and the side view. With this unit, you only have one frequency for clear view, and again, that's not, I haven't found that to be a problem, it's a good clear image, with a maximum depth of 200 feet. The side view, you have two different frequencies, 
you got 455 and 1200 and your maximum depth at 455 is 200 foot and 125 foot with the higher 1200 frequency. The GT56 UHD is $449. Again, 350 watts, you get the chirp, 800 foot max depth on your traditional, but you got 500 watts on your clear view and your side view. With that, you get three different frequency selections for both clear view and side view, which is 455, 800, and 1000. Of course, you can reach farther with the lower frequencies. The Garmin website says that's a 20% greater range that you have with the GT56. And one thing I picked up on the website, if you guys didn't know it, Garmin and Lowrance were in litigation for quite some time over down view imaging, clear view. So what Garmin did was they had two elements in their, tra in their transducers for the side view. And they overlapped each other in the middle so they would take both those images and create the down view with that image. And that's what Garmin did. On the website, it says it has a down facing element, which to me means there's a third element in there. So looking at some of the research I've done, it's, it's really vague. And so I called Garmin and I asked him, I said, hey, does the GT54 have a downward facing element? And they couldn't tell me. So a lot of the people that I've talked to that have a GT56, they really like it. And they said they can really tell the difference and they don't have to be in real deep water. So I'm not sure if that comes into play with that or not as to why the GT56 is more expensive and seems to have a better picture. But again, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to have the GT54 in the comments a lot of you have mentioned that you bought a Striker 4 inch. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make a couple videos on this because it's a really neat little unit. And here's a sneak preview. All right, so the menu on this is pretty much the same as most of the others. Go to settings, system. We'll go ahead and turn the simulator on. And we'll just back out of that. And for all you guys that were laughing at me, here's your split screen. Yeah, see how well you can see that. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and go up to traditional. I mean, look at that screen. For a $120 unit, I don't think you're going to beat that. All right, so if you'd like to know the differences between the Eco Map and the Striker in detail, take a look at this video.